There we go. Okay, Judge, go ahead. <clears throat> Is there a motion we go back in the session? I like I make that motion. Second. 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 All, right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. We're at the uh, personnel action here for uh, road department. Uh, this would be the uh, termination because of uh, physical incapacity at the present time for uh, Mark Husband. Is there uh, a motion to uh, make that action happen? I make that motion. I'll second. Moved and seconded. All right. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Nay. Motion carries seven to two. Yeah. Right. Next item on the agenda today is uh, appointment. Uh, this is to the uh, Oldham County Water District. And uh, I'm uh, making a recommendation to uh, reappoint uh, Jason Greer to a uh, term that would expire January 1st, 2025. Second. Right. Discussion? Mr. Greenwell. Judge, how many terms has he served in that position? One. Okay. Right. He's, uh, he's acting as board secretary. He's done a good job. And uh, so he's just been there for one term. Any further discussion? All right, all in favor, please say aye. 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 One opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. All right, we're uh, down to our second public comment here. I don't believe we have any, do we, Kevin? Uh, have any no, sir, comments? nobody's here for public comment. So uh, we're just about at the end of today's meeting. So why don't we uh, go ahead and uh, see if uh, any magistrates would like to uh, have some close out for the year comments here. Uh, magistrate <laughs> Likens. Uh, I'm new. I'm mute. I'm mute. <coughs> I'm mute. Merry go. Christmas to everyone. Right, Major Hounds. Yes, thanks, Judge. Um, first off, I would just like to say that uh, we had a very significant um, incident on the interstate the other day, and it, it shows the uh, great working relationship that the fire departments have with each other. I believe um, all but one or two of the fire departments were out on I-71 the other day with the uh, fuel truck fire there in the median. Um, and it, it, there was a loss of a, two pieces of equipment, but no loss of life, which I consider that to be a, a victory in the grand scheme of things. I'd um, just like to take this time to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Make sure you check in on your loved ones and uh, to everybody try to be safe and wear your mask and do what we need to do to keep COVID at bay. All right, thank you. Major Harrison. I have nothing further, thank you. Major Greenwell. Uh, Judge, I would just like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Major Logson. Uh, yes, sir. I just wanna wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. It'll be, uh, I guess, the 5th of January, so three weeks from now before we meet again. So hopefully the uh, light at the end of the tunnel from COVID will be closer to us and uh, we can put 2020 uh, behind us and start a new 2021. All right, thank you, Major Dye. Uh, thank you, Judge. I have uh, two things. Uh, number one, uh, one of the uh, uh, one of the few, or one of the few remaining uh, uh, dairy farmers out here that was in the Brownsboro at one time, Miss Betty Moser, uh, as Mike Moser Farm Road Moser, she passed away here recently. So I think the only uh, she has one sister left, and, and she has a, and she has a daughter. So um, for those of you know, uh, you know we all have been here for a while. I know the, the Moser family. I don't know anything about uh, funeral arrangements. It has not been in the paper yet. Second thing is, um, we had a situation over my district where we had a company come in and start digging up the uh, side of the road in the e in the right of way, 
and they left a big mess and they notified me and they said it was one of the utility companies and it turned out not being that particular utility company. Now we're sort of, last I heard, and I haven't heard anything today, we're not exactly sure who did the work, uh, but when I quizzed the people that called me about, well, are you sure it was this or that? They didn't know. So my point being is, if you see somebody out on the road and they're digging something up and you just question why they're out there, or maybe at least think about knowing, look at the truck and see what names on it. It's not going to happen very often, but they left a, a pretty extreme mess over here uh, on a ditch line in, uh, off of 22. So just kind of keep that in your mind. And last but not least, uh, everyone, I'd like to wish a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all the community, but uh, uh, I look forward to working with the magistrates and the judge next year. Thank you. Magistrate Hawkins. Um, so much going on politically, but I wanted to mention something non-political that's pretty cool. And that was um, how Sarah Fuller made um, history. Uh, she plays for Vanderbilt and was the first female to score in an SEC football game over the weekend. Um, she kick two extra points and that was really fun to watch with my um with my kids especially my daughters over the weekend so um wanted to throw something kind of lighthearted out there um the briar hill playground is supposed to come in the spring um, you'll notice most of the other playground is gone now and uh, the new one should be coming in the spring when it starts to warm back up again so um have no fear that's on its way and um want to continue to encourage folks to take the park survey, specifically Schaumbach Park Survey, and that's at oldhamparks.com, oldhamparks.com. And then I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and um, see you all next year. Thanks. Major Tice. Yes, and following on the sports-related uh, news, Kyra Elsey from LaGrange in Oldham County has been uh, uh, hired as the head Kentucky bas ladies basketball coach. And uh, she's had a great life in sports, two-time national champion uh, playing at Tennessee. And now she's back at UK and just uh, tickled to death. Great family and uh, it's really a plus for Oldham County. And other than that, uh, Merry Christmas and everybody be careful out there. Major Harrison. Thank you, I'm following up on Wayne. Technically she wasn't just hired. She was already the interim coach. The news is she was named head coach yesterday. That's a big thing. But we're really proud of her and the LZ family. Absolutely. I agree with you, Albert. Yes. Okay, Major Logson. Yes, Judge. Um, I'm following up with um, on Magistrate Dye's district, um, and it might need to go through public safety to look at the uh, – it's not going to happen now since it's cold outside – but there's been a lot of golf carts riding up and down Clore Lane and Brentwood. Uh, and I almost saw three little girls get hit the other day because there's a Clore Lane has a huge dip right when it comes off of Briar Hill and Cantrell Drive. And, you know, they were going 20, 25 mile an hour, I guess, on, on the golf cart. And a car popped over that hill and I thought, oh, they're going to be gone. Um, so I don't know what our, I, I know we wrote a policy about golf carts and subdivisions. Um, but um, it might want to be looked at in Brentwood right now because um, I think they're coming from Briar Hill over to Brentwood and vice versa. So just something to be thinking about. All right. Thank you. Uh, uh, Major Logson, uh, uh, the county engineer is looking at that now. Well, as you've heard, a number of people have, uh, well, everybody's really said Merry Christmas. Uh, this is our last meeting before uh the christmas uh, which is uh, next uh, i believe next thursday uh it, obviously with the coronavirus uh, in the country and in the county this christmas is going to be different uh, for for everyone uh nevertheless uh all holidays christmas uh, this christmas will have sadness uh, mixed uh, with it joy and sadness together uh, they all do but it's more uh, more apparent this year because we've had over 60 people in our county uh, related uh, to COVID deaths and uh, more than 3,000 people in the county have had it. Uh, we've also had uh, 
three employees uh, pass away this year. And uh, that also is, a, is obviously a sad circumstance for uh, friends, neighbors, family members, obviously will uh, have, Christmas won't be as happy for those people. Nevertheless, we do wish everybody a Merry Christmas, uh, the joy of the world, uh, Jesus Christ. We celebrate his birthday, if you're a Christian, on uh, December 25th. And uh, if we all uh, keep that in mind, that we can all be uh, happier and, and go forward in the next year, hoping the vaccine will be here for all of us by this time uh, a year from now. So uh, on behalf of myself and uh, the employees of the Fiscal Corp and the other members of the uh, uh, fiscal court present here today wish everyone a very safe and uh, happy holiday. Is Judge, there a motion I, to adjourn? Pardon? I have it on good authority that Santa Claus and his elves have already gotten the Corona vaccine. Oh, <laughs> that should be fine. Right. Well, hope, as long as they don't spread it since they're going from house to house. I move to adjourn. adjourn. All right. Second. Second. All in favor, please say aye. Uh, uh, we're adjourned.